welcome back to my youtube channel guys that is if you're a returning subscriber but if you're new here welcome my name is lillian and today i want to take us back to some of the things that i have done done for my country nigeria that gives me the right to sit down here sometimes and criticize my country for the things they are not doing and also criticize the ac the actions of my fellow nigerians that are not doing what is right so i criticize i condemn in fact i'm not in support i will never support bad thing so it is expected that at least before you criticize there should be some level of there should be some level of sacrifice that you have tried to make before you have the right to come and tell people how to do things right and that is why this video is in today's video i'm taking us to my village a school in my village where i lillian raised fund and it's going to let's 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 throw back let is let this video explain everything to you my only struggle here is i do not know where to begin from because it's a long story but let's start from somewhere i'll be back let's go and see the very beginning so first we are going to look at the very beginning how everything started and i'll be back let's go hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is lily ogini I'm a Nigerian YouTuber based in Asaba, but currently in my village in Cross River State. Oh, okay. This is like a highly request video because I see a lot of comments at the comment section. A lot of people want to see me cook with firewood. They want to see real village things happening here on my channel. Yes. So in today's video, I'm going um, to the market called Ekoko God. And I have just a thousand naira on me. That is what I'm willing to spend. Things come back, cook something with firewood. In fact, guys, look closely. Do you see what I'm seeing? Those are kids, students going home from this one block. Ugly looking building called school a government owned school nine o'clock in the morning they are being sent out of school a government school because of school fees can you imagine this level of wickedness by a government against its own people it's, i'm just on my way going to the market because i told you i was going to the market to get something so i can come back and cook with firewood um to my greatest surprise i'm seeing the kids here look at them they are all from the government school the school i showed you guys with a uh, one block ugly looking building over there yeah and then i, I just stopped them because i see that is um 9 45 they're about in the morning they are not supposed to be home they are not supposed to be rooming about they are not supposed to be rooming about but i saw them i decided to like stop and ask them why they are here they said they send them out of school and then um, it could be hung. school fees how much is your school fees each one student thousand, three fifty. one thousand one thousand three fifty yeah. students and this is a government owned school look guys i'm not supposed to be doing this kind of videos because they are not my line of whatever but this is like somebody have got to talk look at how wicked a government is to its own future so these kids are being sent out of school to go home so if you cannot afford a thousand two hundred what a thousand what a thousand what one thousand three fifty. so if you do not have one thousand three fifty to pay your school fees to study in that ugly looking building over there you'll be sent home it's okay just so that you guys can take note and see how deformed like how messy how the government of this country is to the future it's okay guys i'm i'm going to where i'm going i'll see you when i get back or when i get there bye okay i wanted to give you guys an update about the primary school i told you the other time in this vlog uh, i wanted to give you guys a report about it as i speak to you right now classes have not been going on there because teachers are not there students are not there nothing is there nothing is there so um i wanted to go there and show you guys but i don't think my battery will be enough to take me so i'm just going to end the vlog here thank you guys for watching i will see you in my next one bye when that happened i posted the video and i wanted to move on in my usual nigerian manners because that is how we do it as long as you are okay you are supposed to just be okay but what happened is this gorgeous lady that i'm going to display on the screen reached out to me and said lily did you see that video i mean lily um i watched the video you uploaded today i'm trying to speak like her she lives in america a cameroonian nigerian who lives in america i don't know how to i don't know what to say about this lady a lot of you that have been following me you may have heard me talk about this lady in 
all of my videos i've talked about this babe all of my videos so she was like i watched the video and what are the plans and i'm like what plans she said oh lily you can't tell me you didn't see those kids go pay their school fees and i'm like pay their school fees like how madam I don't understand how do you mean pay how do you mean pay their school fees you are one of my sponsors you have been the one giving me money to feed myself and my kids and you and a couple of other women all over the world you have been sending me money i was surviving on people on you guys how do you think i was going to get money to take care of other people's kids school fees i mean when i myself is still thinking of what to do in my life she said no lily you cannot ignore this this is dangerous you can't you can't ignore this she has my account number already these are the people that kept me she's one of the angels that god used to keep me alive so that night i got an alert from her she was going to pay school fees for about 15 children all right so they can get back to school so i was happy i came back i told my mom about it my mom was okay with the idea so i went to the school and wanted to pay school fees but then see what happened now take a look at it hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is lily ogini a nigerian youtuber based in asaba but currently i'm in my village in cross this is just a quick update about the last vlog i made uh, something exciting has happened concerning the school and even the community at large and it's going to help all the children in this community get back to school if we succeed at it and i have been educating the mothers and fathers of these children you know letting them know that if they wait for the government to do everything for them they are just going to waste their time and they are going to endanger the future of their kids um, i'm having a meeting with the headmaster when i come back i'll give you guys an update about how it went and of course i'm going to show you guys around the school i'll show you guys the building and where the, the kids are sitting to learn please come with me uh, as i take you to the school over there is primary one primary two and primary three but all the classes are in there in this block all of them from primary one to six are in there so what they do is they pair the children to primary one to two in one block in one room primary two to primary three to four in one in one room primary five to six in one room how do you teach children under this condition come with me guys Just look. There are no seats. No seats. You can see the demarcation over there. So it means that this one is supposed to be for the staffs. And then this is supposed to be for the headmaster. But hey, that is not the story. The story is that they are under the tree right there. That is their office. Of course, the compound is big enough, beautiful looking. Oh God, you can see there are no seats. There are no seats. This community needs help, trust me. Whatever you can do to help, help these people. The condition is still like this. If you stumble on this video and the Lord touches your heart, do it for humanity. Do it for the future. Bless the future with your own gift. There is no motivation to send your kids here under this condition. How are you people? So because due to school fees, they are not in class. Look at them. Due to um, the fact that they've not paid their school fees, they are not complete in class. There are no seats to sit. Igo Lili Oyo. There are no seats for them to sit down. This is Nigeria. This is Nigeria. These are the things that invoke these sea people getting so angry with the government and even to the point of looting from the government. Just look. Look. But we we'll vote elections here, year in, year out. This building here is. In fact, I don't know what to say. 
this is how corrupt it is. We vote election here, year in, year out. There are elections going on here. And then politicians come in all the way to beg for the people to vote them. Just look. How do you send your child to this kind of place to study here? Even me. I cannot send mine here. Hmm? If we continue to keep quiet, it's just going to be like, okay, nobody is willing to talk because we are afraid to say something. Hmm? Because it would be like you are going against uh, the government. No, no one is going again against the government. We are appealing to them to come to their rescue. Just look. If you are a media personnel and you see this video, please, all you have to help me do is to reshare it so that it will get to the right authorities. Just look. Look at this. This is the teacher's office and headmaster office in Nigeria in 2020. Just look. This is primary five, no single. This is primary six, no single. Okay, and this is, is this for this um ten? For this, or, for the ten, this okay. fair, this ten, fair So ten. no single no, people has no, paid the no, school fees. No, no, no. That is why they are drive out of this school. And now I'm asking to remit the money at the headquarters there. Mm. All this time, when you send them out, like mm. the previous time mm. before the COVID nineteen, mm. when you send them out, do they usually come back and pay? They do. They after pay a very they long pay, time. Uh, they pay after they pay part payment. Okay. I will go to the community the community will move have to have to recover some of the money and give to me and pay back to the people yes, yes. that is what they, they use, yes. use what sir what is this uh, primary this is uh, that is 500 but five, school fees is how much uh, 1350 now that is part payment okay mm -hmm. If they have done this, I will allow them right. to, 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 to learn. But uh, nothing, nothing. They have not re responded to what the government have asked me to collect and remit to them. Okay, when you take this one that is less than the three one thousand three fifty to the government, what are they going to do? Uh, well, uh, well, it is at at, at, at mo my own mercy okay. to the peoples. Okay. Uh, Sometimes I use part of my salary to pay in for them to uh, to to let them learn as others uh, uh, peoples in the in the country. Okay. So these are the total number of students, mm -hmm. students. two hundred and uh, forty nine forty nine students. Mm -hmm. And they, how many teachers do you have under you? Uh, three. Teachers. Teaching all of these students. All of these teachers. Chai. Quick. Hi guys, welcome back to another day. What happened is uh, on the last vlog where I post about the students, the primary school children that were being sent out of school due to school fees, someone saw the video and then became interested in um, getting the children back to school. But that's not enough. I realized that um, everyone in this community is, <laughs> oh my God, in this village, almost everyone is no one is more privileged than the other that's what i find out here so we decided to do something different with um that with the money instead of getting paying the school fees for the children and then going back to school there and then there's nowhere for them to sit down and study there's no teacher to teach them they, are, they don't have enough enough teacher and of course there's no enough space for them to learn because they have just three classrooms in that school and that's a school that is um primary one to six so what they, they are doing there is they're combining primary one and two primary three and four primary five and six so how do you teach children when they are in the same class sitting down there they don't even know what to do again they don't know what they are doing so i want to try my best to see how i can help in my own little way since i do not have the resources to help to donate to them I've decided to give them my service. So uh, the money that someone sent to get the kids back to school, uh, we're going to use that money to employ a teacher that will be teaching the children. Because I, I, did, I did my investigation and I realized that the parents, especially their mothers, they said that they can try their best to afford um the sum of 1350 naira to pay the school fees for their kids if only there are teachers to teach them that the kids go to school and come back with nothing so 
they, because there no there a, a lot enough teaching is not going on there for them the classes are poor the kids are not performing well due to lack of um, teachers and uh, other things so we have decided employing two community teachers to help one of those teachers will be taken if i will sort it out but here i am i went to the school and the headmaster asked me to come get uh one lady she used to teach here but the community could no longer afford to salary to pay her and she and one other man that stayed somewhere so they quit after a long period of teaching without paying they ended they stopped going there because of course they have to eat so they so they could have time to go to their farm to be able to feed themselves so the headmaster sent me to come and fetch one of the teachers but unfortunately she's not home uh, her kids told me that she has gone to the farm so and uh, i know that farm so i'm going right there to pick her up so i can take her to the school for negotiation i will give you guys more updates okay uh we just finished we have a deal so the lady will be starting work on monday so all the kids can get back to school i'm not calling your color now go and wear your clothes Listen, there are no seats in their classrooms. Of course, I want to show you their face. A lot of things that these kids need. God. They need so many things. They need sandals, they need books, they need uniforms. You can see there are no seats in their classrooms. No seats. Nowhere to sit down. They sit on the floor to learn. It's so pathetic. So someone that will be teaching them a lot of things, including personal hygiene, to go. Hi guys. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, thank you very much. So that is it for the kids. Please, anything you can help the children with, don't hesitate to do it. You can see they have a lot of things that they need. They need sandals. If you have books to donate, if you have, if you want to donate money for them to get a desk where they can sit down. You can do so okay nothing is too little or if you want to pay for school fees of any kids here it costs the sum of two dollar fifty cent and you have a child in school that is not your own child man that is a lot that you're doing for the universe for the future if you want to donate sanders if you want to if you want a personal link with the school i am ready to give it to you if you want to come visiting to see things to yourself by yourself please you are highly highly invited we are waiting and we'll be happy happy to have you if you want to send me to the school see me i'm available for you to send okay please but whatever it touches your heart to do for these children please don't hesitate to do it thank you guys i will see you in my next one bye hello katon bye guys bye guys thank you now after that what happened next is yo so i refused to pay the school fees after this encounter with the school because i realized they are nowhere to sit down i was not going to release that money to any 419 government so i wasn't going to give my money to the nigerian government whatsoever because you're not giving the service so what am i paying for i came back and i told her babe i can't release your money i'm thinking of something like i was thinking she knows okay you know what um lily I wanted to send her back the money basically i wanted to give her back her money because what are we paying for for kids to sit on the floor no teachers the whole of that school they only have two teachers and the school headmaster that is what we call them back at home so how why am i paying for and there's no way to sit down the, the teachers in fact i wasn't doing she said okay you know what call to action call nigeria call people make a youtube video and beg people for money I was like, babe, she said, no, Lily, you cannot ignore this. You have to do it. I didn't want anyone to come calling me a beggar. You understand? But then she told me I have to get them to call me a beggar because maybe if that is going to help save the future of these kids, I should do it. Um, two people donated uh, yesterday. One YouTuber sent in the sum of 21,000 Naira and the other one sent in the sum of 8,000 Naira. I want to say a very big thank you, okay, for being part of this for trusting me enough to put in put in your money this is like me calling on you to say please my people needs you and you came out for them god bless you thank you very much for that
you know i've got a lot of discouraging comments like mind your own business leave these people alone you also have your own problems don't let them kill you with their witches and wizards they're gonna kill you they are witch they have this there they're, they're gonna hurt you <laughs> You know, but that take me back to back in the days. And even now, if you ask any Nigerian here or any average person or anybody, yeah, almost all of us Nigerians, once you ask us a question like this, oh, what do you want? Say, I want God to bless me. I want to be rich. And then when they ask you, when you become rich, what do you intend to do with your money? You hear the person saying, I want to help the poor. I want to help. I want to pay hospital bills. I want to build houses for people. I want to pay school fees. I want to help people that need help. But when the opportunity is presented to you to do it, you will start to see them running away. And when you ask them why, they will tell you they don't want winches and wizards to kill them so what do you want leave me alone let me do this thing okay uh, for those who have been telling me things like hey, just pay school fees and forget about it uh, that is not a good idea so I'm not even going to like hide and do anything this is um, the right thing to do and the right thing I shall do so I'm not even going to say okay I'm afraid of anyone because of that uh, uh, is, this is not even my own money this is like someone saying to me take and give take person take give that person because the person is in need so what should i have done should i have said no i don't want to do that but if they give it to me for me to enjoy i would accept and enjoy is that no wickedness sorry i am different i'm not going to do that and if i pay school fees for this term there's another term coming there's another one coming so i just want like what i want to do is to make sure that that money makes impacts in the lives of the children a lasting impact it means that every kid that is able to pay school fees when they come here they will sit Paying school fees for them right now is like giving them fish at hand to eat. And then when that one is finished, they'll be stranded. So the best thing to do is to give them opportunities to be able to fish for the fish. To be able to sit and learn something that will help them. Thank you very much. Okay, I really appreciate you. I really appreciate you all the donors. So far, we've got three people that have donated to this course. The first person, the second and the third one you're still highly welcome please don't say it's none of your business it's our business if we don't make the future of this kid great the future of our kids will be disturbed trust me if you just continue to mind your own business you eat well you take care of your children you sacrifice for them and why your neighbors are not doing same for their own kids you know you are busy building a good you know good children good leaders good kids raising good kids and then your neighbor is just messing um, the life of their kids up. Trust me, it's going to affect you in future because these children are going to be in future become criminals, become kidnappers. And hey, who are they going to kidnap? The kids that are well raised, the ones that are focused on their books, they are going to disturb disturb your kids they're going to disturb our future, the future of our kids. So the best thing to do is do the little you can for them okay do the little so that they can also be strong be be good enough to face the future so that in future they will not have time to come and trouble you or your kids thank you very much guys i will see you later um i made a follow-up video and a lot of nigerians came through nigerians abroad in the uk in italy in germany emily from abuja kami kami's channel she's a kenyan lady who lives in sweden donated i remember having african-american like um on a silver budget and sister chelly ann ah, oh my god a lot of people from around the world donated monies you know they they sent in money so what did i do with that money i decided to do this let's take a look and I'll be back. Of course now. They're actually small. The plants are small. This is why I said for four children. So we are waiting for him to come and tell us why um they are not complete. He's not done with the job and why the sizes are not as big as I told him. So the reason for the delay is the man supplying the wood. Is the one delaying us. Um, the carpenter has come. I don't want to put him on camera. He just came back from the farm. Yes. So uh, he said what? the reason is because the wood supplier didn't supply the wood. That is why the job is still half done. 
I just want to know when we will finish so that we will supply, we will take it to the store. Uh, the problem is if the man brings it, just okay. only one day job, not finish the work. So which day? If he brings the wood today, when are you going to finish? Next tomorrow, the work is done. Okay. Yeah. All right. But I don't like the size, though. The size. It's too small. Mommy, I've come and sit down. Let me see. I need to uh, go and sit. Let me just for this class, I can sit. Daddy, come. Go and sit there, please. Let me. I'm using them to measure the seats. Is there a school after all? Why are you people not in school? Did you go? Okay, but more. But you sit like you sit in class. At, uh, for three people or four. Daddy, come. Go and join them. Uh, go. <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 no. See there. I want to just use them as models. So we are going to see the wood supplier. Today is a day, and uh, it will be my pleasure to take you guys uh, with me for the presentation at the primary school today i am going to give account of all the donations that you guys have made so far and then of course i am also going to give a total breakdown of how we have spent that money i invite you to be my guest so but before then please if you're new don't forget to subscribe and like this video share me out if you want to join the project the send the kids back to school or provide a um, seat for the kids to sit down and learn here in Africa in the village. we will be glad to have you join the team to be part of those that send our kids back to school in one way or the other. And so today I'm going for presentation and I'll be taking you guys with me. Okay, so and look at me. <laughs> you know easy because I'm going with the little baby. We gotta keep it on fire. One hundred and fifteen and fifteen thousand naira. And then so far we spent um Okay, just in case you're confused, what is this? why am I not putting on the same outfit? When I got to the village, the carpenter disappointed. He wasn't done with the job, so I had to go and come back the following day and coming back I was so sick but I had to go on the show must go on i needed to sort this out so we can move on because they were about to write exam and these kids had nowhere to sit down for the exam so this is me giving account of every penny every cobble that was donated and how it was spent and breaking it down to the headmaster and the teacher so please keep on watching and please watch this video with an open mind thank you so much throughout this job us a total of three thousand naira. I'll be paying the teacher the sum of five thousand for every twenty fourth of the month of every month, both when school are in section and when school are in holiday, to enable her stay focused and also come to go and look forward to it and not return back to school. So she'll be paid both when we are in holidays and both when school is on. For the, so I kept this amount so that the teacher can be paid for three, I mean six months. When and when do you? As at when do you? At every 20, 24th of the month. In, the month. in fact, even in my own case, I have been here, the community has been employing me for several times. But they told me that if my community has been open. But I believe with this from God passing through them. I, I, I am employed to stand and yes. also helping our children to so help also see the importance of education. Those that have been sent home as we come back according to what has happened, what is on them now. Thank I you. really appreciate their effort and I say the God who has passed through them will richly bless them. We have nothing to give to them than giving them thanks. You know, this sign of appreciation. But the only person that can bless them, even when we don't know them, Thank you. Amen. Thank you. So she is a community teacher that I am, we employed. She's our teacher, not community. She's a YouTube teacher <laughs> for the children. Thank you very much, sir.
what I did for my country what have you done put it out there I want to see all of these youtubers all of these talentless Nigerian youtubers please what have you done apart from the old uh, AG Maxi of a an errand boy the spoke boy of your old boys what have you people done for Nigeria this is what I have done and I'm still doing do you know what I paid school fees for three two three three children yesterday I have not completed my niece's school fees here in Ghana, but those ones were at the verge of dropping out of school. So what I did is I said, okay, I told my niece, since you have paid to a reasonable amount, like you have paid a good percentage of the money, you have paid like 80% of your fees. So let them help me tell them to hold on. Let's solve this other one. These ones have already been sent out of school because they cannot have, they, are, they have not paid anything at all. Nothing, no commitment, no, nothing has been made. So I have to, so I, I sent school fees for three children, three. I do not have money. If you check my wallet now, it's empty. But I, the little I had in my account, I emptied it and gave it to children three to get back to school. I'm still doing. So what have you guys done for Nigeria? I would like to see. I want to see a video. I mean, an old one. But if I don't mind, I don't mind. But I don't mind if you want to do a new one. Go and do it. This is something impact is impact it doesn't matter when and how you do it just go and do it and bring it i'm waiting so this is it do you know what that teacher i continue to pay her and guys do you know that my mother and i had issues because of that school my mom threw me out of her house at 11 30 11 30 p.m with a newborn baby my mother threw me out of that house her house i left my house with my kids all three of them, Antonia, Wendy, and Praise. You know, Praise cannot work. Antonia had to back Praise. Me, I have to carry Wendy and our load because my mom threw me out of her house. Do you know why she did that? Because I refused to give up on that project. She wanted me to not do it, to mind my business. And I said, I wasn't going to mind my business. I disobeyed my mother and my mom sent me out of her house. I had to go live with my best friend's mother who kept me in her house for three months because I wanted to stay that long and be able to save up then we'll return to Asaba so I'll, the following day I left my kids with my younger sister that is Antonia's mother so my mom went for them and said them they can come back but she don't want me around so I left my mother's house to enable me accomplish that project I did it I disobeyed my mom I did it so I continued to pay the teacher you see that teacher I continued to pay her I paid her since 2020 to 2022 so something happened and my mom said if i do it again she ceased to be my mom and i stopped so i hope you guys are good now that is what i have done hmm? that is what i have done but if you want to support that school we can re redo things 
okay we can redo things all right we can redo things i am a good person i am a good nigerian i have loved my country it hasn't stopped i still love but the truth is i must tell you guys the truth i must show things in other countries that you you don't have so that you go jealous you you go vex normally if you're a good person you're supposed to vex like my new recruitees now i have recruited a lot of them and i see them do videos i'm proud of you guys okay keep it up nigeria most good okay nigeria most good madam low quality kin equipment she's actually a pretty woman i won't lie Fashionly, she's beautiful but her heart is dark and karma will catch up with you so i'm done here i'll see you guys in another video to do